Welcome back. We're trying our best to work on this nursery and excuse my mess. And the curtains that I have right now in the nursery, um, I do not like them. I ordered some pinch pleat curtains. They came in, I did not like them, sent them back. And then I got these velvet, sage velvet uh, curtains. They feel beautiful and I am currently creating the pleats myself. Um, I'm hoping that these curtains work because I'm just so tired of grommets. I think grommets are okay. They are just not in my real house of style right now. So that's what we're doing. We want to get the nursery done already because that room just gives me so much stress and anxiety. Every time I walk into that room, I cry and I'm done crying. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm trying to do these plates. So I just put up the curtains, the new ones. It took me forever to find these, but we got them. I'll show you the full look later, but I just wanted to show you something. This little hack that I'm gonna do. Okay, so you can see there's the windowsill, and then you see the gray wall, right? You could see that gap. But if you notice, you can't really see it on this side, like it's blended. Yo, that's because I put a piece of paper, cardstock, right there. So I'm gonna put cardstock along that edge so that the white blends and your eye just goes to the light of the window that's going to be my little hack but yeah i'll show you the full curtain once it's done all right here we are in the officiary uh we are currently changing hardware um though the black is nice i'm steering away from black and i want gold because i've got you know some gold accents in the office you know and I want that to look good. Um, you know, this dresser is not the best. You see how the drawers, they don't sit well. I really left a nice uh, review on Amazon because it's decent, it's fine. But for 200 some odd dollars, totally overpriced. Well, all right, let me finish changing these um, handles. Okay, I've changed the knobs, but you can clearly see that they're different. All of the backs say brushed brass or something. Let me see. They all say, yeah, brushed brass, all of them. However, I don't know if you see it, but there's a com there's a difference. So thank God. I don't know if like the Holy Spirit led me to do this. Hallelujah. But I needed seven poles. Literally, I picked three of the ones that are like seem to be a little bit more rose tone. And then four of the ones that seem to have more of a gold yellowish tone. But I don't know. Am, am I am I not seeing it? Are you not seeing it? I, I feel like they're two different tones. They are two different tones. But whatever. It is what it is. We're going to make it work.
Okay, so here we are in regular mode. So, the officery. As you notice, I still have this huge uh, wooden shelving system that was here from the previous owner. Previous owner had a lot of junk and a lot of crap. There were some things that I absolutely loved, so I kept it. All right, so what's in these boxes up here? The big one in the middle, if I could point to it, that has like uh, plushy toys, rattles, things like that. The little ones on the opposite side have all of like, like knickknacks, my stuff. Um, up here on this side, it's all of my nail kits, my gel, my tips, which I haven't done my nails in a long time, but they're there. On that side, I have like, like curtain hooks and things that were left extra from me hanging up the curtains, the pinch pleat hooks, hardware that goes to this room, to the crib, up in there. If you notice, because this used to be my office and I do not have a desk anymore or a filing system, I or filing cabinet, I needed a new filing system because I have a lot of files. So literally, I've got these things right here. So I got these from Amazon. There are two cases. I don't know how to call that. You see, there's there's two of them here. And so what I did, literally, I invested in something that was pretty beautiful, matched with the room. I invested in these nice tan neutral color hanging files. I am not using like manila folders inside of the hanging files. I'm using the hanging files as the folders. So I am going to be putting tabs on them so I know where all my stuff is because right now nothing's in order. So if you ask me to find the deed to my car, I don't know where it is. Okay, it's somewhere. So I am going to put tabs. All the tabs are going to be on the same side. All the tabs are going to be handwritten the same because it's got to look good, okay? And that's how I'm storing it. So you see I have that there. I also have another set. So I have four in total. I will try my best to link the stuff below if you like it. I put a picture of my son here and a picture of my daughter because they're just so cute. Uh, Ophelia's library. But then you notice this is my desk. <laughs> so it is a standing office. Uh, this is where I will get my work done. My computer is wirelessly connected to my printer. So I could print from anywhere in the house. But when I'm here, I don't have to like deal with like plugging things in because I hate cables. Cables are the devil. I got this little computer stand again from Amazon. I will hopefully link it below. It allows me to keep my paper right here. And then I have like a little drawer which in the um, Amazon reviews, I told them, I wish that it had like some type of stopper because literally like you see, it just comes completely out. So it, it will slide out and fall. Um, but that's where I'm keeping like, you know, my pencils and a bunch of other supplies. But this is why I keep this in front of it. My mom gave me that, I think it was last Christmas. So it is pretty, pretty heavy, it's a paperweight. I keep it in front so that the tray doesn't come out. I have to figure out where I'm gonna put my hole punch and my tape, unless, tape dispenser, unless I wanna invest in like a gold one, but I don't think we're gonna go that far. But yeah, this is where my computer will sit if ever I have to work in here while the baby is sleeping or whatever. This, I have to say, <laughs> my husband made this when he was in high school years ago, like late 90s. And it was supposed to like, it was supposed to be, I guess, standing up, but I guess the clay didn't harden in time and it fell in such a beautiful, like, like postured position. Like he's praying, he's worshiping God. He's like giving God his all. And I'm like, babe, I love this artwork and I have it. And he gave it to me. So literally my husband made this when he was a teenager. BK 1996 and I don't know I just I love it my husband did that so it is a beautiful piece of artwork that I adore my mom gave me this one years ago because I play clarinet so I keep that here 
I've got my printer. There is extra paper in this box. So this is where I'm storing my excess paper. So when I run out of paper up here, I just go to my reserve down here. I do have a heater in this room because this room and my kids room next door tends to get cold. So I do plan on putting that on a, on a timer of sorts. These huge baskets, what are these baskets for? I don't like to see stuff. I really don't, I hate it. I hate to see stuff. So when I start stocking up diapers, wipes, and all that good stuff, I plan on using those baskets to store the diapers, store the wipes, and all of that good stuff. Um, these boxes down here, if you saw my video months ago, when I was decluttering my office, those boxes, this is like all of my kids' projects, memories, things that I don't want to throw out because it's just beautiful. And then over there, I have some books and my hair supplies because y'all know I've been doing my own hair, saving a lot of money, saving a lot of time, and I just, I just left it there, okay? Behind me is the closet. Da -da -da -da. So it is still a little bit of a hot mess. I did declutter as best as I could, <sighs> but let's talk about it, okay? Let me flip the camera because my arm hurts trying to put my face into the frame. Okay, so these are shoe racks, but I am now keeping my shoes in the wardrobe that I bought from Ikea. Go check out that video of me redoing my bedroom so you can see the pack system that I designed and chose. So I am using this because remember, I like to vlog and my office was supposed to be set up as like a stationary vlogging station, but I've had to take everything down. So I've got like, like stands, I have speaker, I have some like cable hookups, um, extra little cables and uh, drive. I got microphones, a gimbal. This whole bag is full of electronics, cables, hookups, whatnot. And then you'll notice that the rest of them are pretty open. So, you know, as uh, baby O starts growing, if she needs more storage for her things, I can just pop them into those little rectangles. <laughs> I do have <laughs> an 88 keyboard in here. I know, it's crazy, right? Yeah, I got my piano in there, it's still there. This thing, again, go check out my video on um, decluttering my office because I got this from Granny Says. Oh, and I also got those boxes from GrannySays.com. They are a really, really awesome company. You should go check them out. This video is totally not sponsored by them, but you know, I just felt like mentioning them because they're the ones that gave this to me. So <clears throat> I was actually going to give this away. And then I'm like, you crazy idiot. You need storage. Don't give it away. So I put it in here and it works. So I got some car essentials, you know, like the little infant inserts for the car seat. I've got the JJ Cole, um, like I guess coat or whatever, insert for the seat. I got this whole thing that covers. So this is all like car seat stuff. Some like swaddles, I can't even speak. Sleep sacks. This is stuff for her bath. This is all like six month plus clothing all the way up to 18 months yeah i try not to have too much but i do have some that is a cover for the stroller when i take her out and it's still chilly i've got the carrier and i've got the diaper bag down there i've got a little coat hanging in there and behind the coat is the baby bjorn bouncer that we will use i have some toys up there sewing kit that my grandmother gave me, my old Mac, I have a gimbal, some debt trackers, okay? I have my breast pump and just some other little filing things that I'm storing away in here. That's the accessory, all right? It's small, it's tight. Uh, these portraits, they're so cute. I got them from Amazon. Again, I'll try my best to link everything down below. So if you wanna check it out, you can for yourself. This blanket right here was handmade. There was a young lady in my town that 
she was advertising and I'm like, you know what? I want to sew into a small business and I took a chance and it's beautiful and it totally matches, you know, the vibe of the room, that sage cream gold vibe that I'm going for. This is a washable rug because things are going to get dirty in here. Okay. And there you have it. So it is a really, really tight room. I am missing a chair because what if I have to feed the baby in here? So I, I figure right where I'm standing, because I don't really need to have the closet open much, right where I'm standing, I'm gonna see if I could put like like a small chair. I don't I can't fit a rocker in here because it's just way too big. But a small comfortable chair, so that's the last thing that I have to buy for this space. And and that's about it. For all y'all that are ready to come after me. Oh my god, that baby, that's, that's not a safe room for a nursery with that big, huge wooden thing. You're absolutely right. Okay, haters, absolutely right. But I don't care what you say, okay? Number one, the baby's not going to be mobile for quite some time. At least six months. If she's anything like Jack, nine months, she starts becoming mobile. We will baby proof it then. We are going to be getting a, a handyman. He comes in and he does a lot of work for me here in the house. I'm going to have him get some L, L hooks and secure this bad boy to this wall. And this is actually a concrete wall. So once he secures it, bad boy ain't going nowhere. Okay, it's not going to tip. Not going to tip. And also because the room is so small, I don't foresee the baby playing in here much there's just no space i don't see this as a play area there's just like i said there's just no space once the baby gets tall enough which if you've seen my husband and he's seen my kids they are tall people people say i'm tall i don't feel like i'm tall but people say i am i am going to um i have some double-sided tape that i use because again because my outer walls are concrete it is really hard to put up artwork. I just, I have a concrete drill, but I just, I don't have like the, you know, the, the technique yet to drill into concrete. So I don't feel like messing with my walls. This is not a concrete wall. This is legit sheetrock. However, I do use a lot of double-sided tape in this house. So I'm going to put some double-sided tape along the bottom of the frame because I'm confident that this little baby, once she starts standing up, you know, she's going to be touching them and she's going to want to move them. And I want to secure them to the wall so that she doesn't mess with the artwork in this room. Okay, so there you have it. Comment below and what you think about the aesthetic of the accessory. Do you think that it is warm and inviting? Do you think that it is ugly and terrible? Do you think that I am missing anything? Do you think that... There are some must-haves that are like, girl, you need to get that in there for that baby. Or, girl, you could do without this. Or, girl, I just like watching your stuff. Thumbs up. I'm going to subscribe. Whatever. Okay? So, yeah. Yeah. There you have it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And if you haven't noticed in my videos, comment green, okay, if you've still been watching. Green is my absolute favorite color. So in a lot of my videos, you see me wearing a hunter green dress. This is my hunter green pajamas, okay? And then I've got the sage hunter green curtains. Um, they got green in the carpet. I just, my entire life, I've loved, love, love, love green. So comment green if you've still been watching this far and I will see you next time. Peace out.